Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. I'm going to put the unhealthy person over the other one. Although that's only a diagnosis, I think the unhealthy people, we should just get rid of them. Health low, diagnosis still required, you're going to the ward. I'm just going to send that person home. I think that would be better. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just send them home, they can be done with. It would be great to work in really spacious environment with lots of luxury furnishes. Um, something prestigious. Get level for toilets. That's probably not going to happen. So we're minus 100,000. All of these patients now are ill. And yeah, we're, we're struggling a little bit with this. We've we got lots of patients who are on death's door over here. And I just lost the curing spree. Radio. You're listening to Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio. I'm Harrison Wolf. A shadow hangs over today's show. The shadow of a mysterious package that's been sent to me at the station. Could this be the forces at B finally quietening this beacon of outrage? As what sits before me, some kind of biohazardous response to all of my descent. We'll find out later in the show. Okay. Yearly review imminent. That was, um, different. Appointment general diagnosis. You're not going to make... Most of these people are just not going to make it. I know what's wrong with you. Diagnosis... It's still saying diagnosis required. I'm just... Ah, uh, I meant to say I wanted him to go straight off for treatment. I know where he's going to go. There, Wander Rust. So he now needs to go over this way and he needs to have this treatment in here. I don't know if he's going to die before he gets there. So we've got another promotion right there. Promote. So my staff are slowly working their way. We've got electrical storms. My staff are slowly working their way up to getting higher wages, which means that they'll be happier in their work. Get a level four clown clinic. Impress the VIP. we got eight rep and 10k points. Is this person going to get into the hospital? Yep. Go in here. Go in here. Go in here. Go on. Go in here. I've just had a whole load of patients die and a whole load, a whole load of failed treatments, mostly, I think. Can you go in here already? What are you doing? Are you seriously... In Pan's lab. Right. I thought for a minute they were just not going to go in. I've, got, I've only got 13 patients left. I'm, I'm going to struggle with this. We've got another promotion right there. Promote you. Nine patients and I got 132,000. We are in trouble. These are all on death's door. He's dead. And you over here, you... Well, actually, you've got an appointment, but you're not, even, you're not going to get there. You're going to die before you get there. Look at that. <laughs> right, he's out of it. I've still got a couple of patients that are being cured. I mean, I suppose on the plus side, if they're all dropping dead all at once, it is going to make life training a little bit easier complete. for us. Class dismissed. There's the training course done. And we are literally about to get our next round of doctors come in. I got one patient remaining somewhere, which is that patient over there. He is the last one. He's got jelly deals. He's got an appointment in surgery. If I let him do that appointment in surgery, I have an 84% cure rate. If I let him go and do that... I'm going to have to wait quite a while before the next wave comes in. So I'm going to send him home immediately like that. Get rid of him. He should be the final patient. There should be no more patients. It says patients remaining one. I've just sent him home. There's nobody over here. So he's, he's gone home. Who are you? Sophie Cups is cured. Patient. 
Why did he not? All right, that's that's bad. Oh, right, there we go. Right, he has gone through, but I've now got the money is going to go way up, way higher. 400,000. We're losing about 180 per month at the moment. Or at least that's what it seems like. So we've got three things left. Three, actually, no, 27, 28, 29, and 30. We've got four waves left. Here come the people, 145 patients rolling in. Now, I'm just going to jump to here a second. We've got Diagnostics 5 there. I've got two potential trainees for that. I Obviously, I don't have the money for that. Trainees down here. I've got Assistant. i got Assistant. i got Assistant. I'm not bringing the Assistants in. Surgery 5, I want that trained. I've got uh, Diagnosis over here. So I can go with Diagnosis 3 for that particular person. I'm going to go up here, and I'm not going to worry about genetics. We're just going to go Diagnostics 3. I don't have any other trainers for that one. Uh, that's 140, 140, and 130. So I'm going to go straight into Diagnostics Nurses. And we're going to train that one up. Yeah, we've got Electrical Storms. So, we're going to have somebody trained over here. Now, we're on the 16th of April, and we still haven't earned very much money. We have got to get some money coming in. So, 145 patients remaining. I've got to keep an eye... needed in x-ray. Maintenance needed in x-ray. I've got to keep an eye on that money. If I need to, I will sell everything out of that um, room over there. 27th, 28th of April. There is no chance that I'm going to have the money available for this. Uh, if we go above 500,000, we've had it. If we look at our loans, we've got more than a year to go on those. So I've, I've got no way of being able to do that. Which means that I'm going to need to go in here and I'm going to need to sell most of my research room. So I'm going to sell all the research monitors a minute. There. That one, and that one. I'm hoping that will be enough. Wow. Okay, I need to sell two more. Reload the last save. I will need to sell two more on top of what I just sold in order to make this work. Is a bit of a challenge. Next wave in three days. That wasn't part of the move. Right, let's go into here then, and we'll get that training course going immediately. Diagnostics 5. I don't have a Diagnostics 5. I don't want to select a trainer. I want to select a trainee. I am wondering if I should go for my assistants before the next wave comes in. If I bring, if I put you in there and I go to Customer Service Level 2 on there, I've got one other Customer Service Level 2, and I've got four other assistants here. So I can train that skill out. Let's do it. That's 31 days. That's 29. 21 days. 19 days. We'll do it in 19 days like that. So we've got two days here for this to come in. It's on the 3rd of April right now. I've got assistance on here. And then I've got assistance being called in over that way. So I'm just going to speed that up a little bit like that. And, yes, the patients are coming in. They're going to have to spread out a little bit between just the two of them at the moment. That's not going to make a lot of difference to the overall profit loss situation that we've got going on. We've got uh, storms coming in. And as it's only a few days, we'll have the assistants out of here in next to no time. And then I can get some more training going on, which I'm going to go with the Mega Scanner one. And I'm going to get more people trained over there as soon as this one is finished. Three to five days. That will be done before the end of the month. And then I got customer Food service level two. Will be confiscated and in all likelihood eaten. I didn't hear what was going to be confiscated just then. Uh, customer service level two has now completed. So I can go straight back into the trainees. And yeah, uh, I've also got other assistants that can be trained. I don't have a level 5 diagnosis yet. 
this doctor over here, treatment doctor, that would probably help us out if I was to boost the treatment. But I think I'd like to boost you first. The diagnosis skill. And you, I want level four diagnosis. But I'm going to go with the level three diagnosis here. Get that one. Uh, diagnostics level three right there. It doesn't matter which of these do it. So you're working in fluid analysis. You're on a break at the moment. You're going to do that. So I'll start that training course over there. That's got 31 days to run. 29th of April, 30th of April. And I now need to go in here. And I'm going to sell all the research screens. There's no point in keeping these at the moment. And we don't lose money by selling them. They cost us eight grand to buy them all back again. So that's minus 342, minus 334, minus 326. Training course complete. There. Class dismissed. 480. So we need 160,000. It's got to go down to 340,000 in order for us to be able to do this. Right, promote three staff. That we can do. Fracture emergency. Yes, absolutely bring them in. Patients arriving for the fracture ward. Always bring in the new patients. New patients is absolutely fantastic. So I got diagnostics Welcome going back. on here. I've been keeping as still as possible in case this mysterious package responds to movement. Or maybe it responds to sound. What if it's on a timer? Hmm. I think I need your help. What could be the trigger? How long do I have? Let me know. Here are some thinking tunes. Some thinking tunes. Right. So I've got some things going on over here. We're 455 on there. I don't think I am going to be able to do this. I'm really struggling with money. And... That's the 30th of May. We'll go to the 31st of May. 452. I've got to generate $110,000 from somewhere. Researcher's desk. Pick up. Research right there. I could just sell this room. How much is this room? Room value 35. Right, the room is going. There's thirty. There's thirty-five thousand. I've got to take this down to three hundred and forty thousand. No matter what, I've got to get it to three hundred and forty thousand. So I'm just going to, have to go through and find anything of value, <laughs> and then hope that we can turn this round. We're not processing people fast enough. This is the problem. I d I don't think I've got that kind of value in here. I just don't think I've got that kind of value in this hospital. I mean. I could get rid of the second surgery room. I don't think that's going to benefit me, though. That's uh, 42000 I get from that room. This one over here is 26000 Like The revenue that's coming in from that room is phenomenal. Revenue from in here is also phenomenal. That one right there. Energy drinks machine. 865 1955 I'm just... There isn't the quantity of money. All right, well, I'll sell these. 1970. 1955. And 800 in there. It's not a great... It's not a lot of money, is it? It's not a lot at all. I've got these machines over here. 1200 and 1200 right there. Uh, do I have any... Let's have a look at the wave in here. Have I, how many explorers have I? I've got an explorer. I've got an explorer. Uh, they're going to be wanting to use that room. Now, what about... I've got two 8-bitten people in here as well. Loans. 12 months. I've got no chance of doing that. i got to get 60 grand. If I cannot get 60,000... You know what, this Helixer, what about you? you are, you're 55,000. Sell the room. That one's gone. I'll sell that room there. So that puts me on 352. And then I just need to find a little bit more cash. So what about if I was to sell the hot dog kiosks? 
Uh, you down here, you got four stars. You have that cozy kiosk. That's two and a half thousand. Sell that one. I'm going to keep the hot dog kiosks. They at least seem to generate a bit of cash. And where else can... I, I'm going to end up having to do this again for another room. Like, uh, am I going to end up having to rip one of these rooms out? I think we ought really to sell the second surgery at the moment. So I'll sell the second surgery. Yes, 42,000. Right, that's going to hold me just for a little bit. There's enough money there just to hold us for a little bit. And now we've got to really, really hope that we get enough money coming in. Because if we don't get enough money coming in for the second bit, we're in serious, serious trouble. Right. Delphine Finger Sandwich says, The package probably contains a scandalous picture of you and a blackmail note. Or maybe a slightly smaller package. Many of you have suggested that I destroy the package. Brian Cleft says, Hit it with so many hammers. Uh, Brian man, we don't have all that many hammers lying around the station, so why don't you pull your head out of your... I apologize. The situation may be starting to get the better of me. <laughs> okay. That wasn't quite what I was expecting. Let's get some janitors training up in here, shall we? We'll get some, uh, we'll get three staff members trained in 14 to 16 days in there. That will be absolutely fine. This mad shuffle in here with 400,000 um, on the 15th of June. It looks like we are going to make our target for this curing particular spree. month. And we've got a curing spree. Which is fantastic. That means that we can get some extra money, even if it was just for one patient there. Cured in a row, 11. 23rd, it's... I, I need another 10 grand at least. In five days, i got to get 10 grand. Someone, please, give me some money. Yes, okay, we've done it. We have got enough money. That's going to hold us for a month. Whether we can hold for another month, I don't know. Whether or not we can do this for another month, I've got no idea. I've got the stamina training. That's... Staff are reminded to overcome their deficiencies. Staff are reminded to overcome their deficiencies. Right, let's go and have a look in here and see what other... We've got the assistants. They could be trained. I've got a head janitor there who could also be trained. Is that doctor? I'd like to train him in treatment level two. I wanted another treatment doctor, so I'm going to go treatment level 2 right there, and then I want to find a doctor that can train you well and fast. That's 140, 210 there, that nurse right there. You're going to do the training. It's going to take 20 days. So I'm 430,000 at the moment on the 10th of July. It's... Very touch and go here. It's taking them a long while just to process through all of the assistants. But they are spreading out and we've done 20 cures in a row so far. I've got four people queued up outside surgery. I cannot get any more surgery. And I've also... Yeah, see, I sold that. I sold the research room. It's a band of ghosts are haunting the hospital. 25 cures in a row. Down to minus 315,000. I'm wondering if perhaps I was a little bit too generous with my um, pay increases. See, minus 400. And I've just lost my curing spree. Wiggy visits. If we impress, we'll get some money. Uh, we could three out of five patients. We get 10 grand in there. That's good. So we're down to minus 400. And we have 116 patients still to go for cures. Every day, hundreds of Pointians have their life force drained by corners they're not aware of. <laughs> Smooth yourself over by checking into an Orb Wellness Center. So can the power of the Orb. The Orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. We have a curing spree. Hospital patron arriving now. 
And we just cured Lemon Soul as well. Okay, we are well below our target Training money. Training course complete. Class dismissed. That's fantastic if we keep going. We've lost the cured in a row. We've lost the curing spree. We've had already a patient has stormed out. So we're minus 300,000. And this is where we've really got to hope that we can get some decent treatments coming in. So he gets seven grand in there. I am wondering if I should increase all prices by 10%. Whether that would be a good thing or not, I don't really know. Right, Wiggy Silverbottom is visiting the GP's office. Staff resignation. Underpaid, ugly environment, very hungry. Right, staff promotion there. Promote you. I've promoted three staff. Let's go over this way. Uh, he's got a bit. That's Tommy Boop, isn't it? Was it Tommy, the one that was not very happy? A member of staff that was really unhappy, saying that he's, he's repairing something at the moment. Let's have a look. Staff right here. Working in X-Ray. Janitor's right there. Tommy Boop. So who is it that is his happiness there? Teddy is Teddy Custard. Right, Teddy Custard over here. He's unhappy with his pay. That's because he's uh, level 5 and his pay is really low. So we're going to boost him up a little bit like that. That should make a big difference to his overall happiness level. And then what I'd like to go and do is something that I've not done. Overview. No, I don't want overview. I want... Uh, no, I want prices in here. And I'd like to increase... Reset all. Mod increase all price modifiers by 10%. Plus 10%. Plus 20%. I'm going to put the prices of everything up by 20%. Price reputation. There we go. Look at the difference in here. That, that's that's a big chunk of extra money. All right, we'll, we'll try that and we'll, we'll see how that works. Price reputation. That's immediately dropping down. That's, that's not going to do good. But we should be able to... The patient has refused to pay $5 for an arcade machine. Teddy has decided to stay. Patients are going to be more likely to storm out by doing this. Timed research we can't do because we don't currently have a Morning. research thing. Try not to slip in the sick. Right, so suddenly all of the patients are really angry. Official bankruptcy warning. On Two Point Radio. I've been thinking about your suggestions, and you're right. I could destroy the package. But who am I to bludgeon the inviting face of destiny? And this package is, after all, for me. I've seen every possibility. It always ends with me opening the package. It's just a matter of time. Okay, you're going to have to open the package, dude. What I'm hoping... Okay, he wasn't impressed. Never mind. What I'm hoping is that this guy can be cured in here and we get a decent bit of money for this one. We're cured 18 in a row at the moment. And... Is he cured? He is cured. That's 15,000 on there. With our plus 20% and the... Um, curing spree as well, which is an extra 50%. Things are going rather nicely. Get a level 4 cardiology. Unfortunately, we failed to promote three members of staff in time. Oh, that's all right. So I've got unhappy patients running around. But the money is now starting to come up. With that plus 20%, I've not, I've not had to do that before. I've not had to go into my hospital and really boost the amount of money that uh, people are being paid. So you've got... Courses available, customer service level 3. I don't have anybody trained in that, so I can't train you in customer service level 3. Uh, I could give you motivation, increase speed and efficiency. That would actually be really good for, for uh, any of the assistants. 
So we will go in here with you can do the training. And then I'm going to go trainees in here. We're going to take another assistant who's going to have that training. And I'm going to send you out. There we go. So there's two people that are going to go and get some more training. And this money is coming down. Supernatural warning, a band of ghosts. Come on in. This money has really cured 34 people in a row. We're down below 100,000. So we, like, this extra 20% was definitely worth it. But the happiness, every time they have treatment, their happiness is dropping. So I've got people who are storming out of the hospital pretty quickly at the moment. I've also got a lot of very unhealthy people kicking around over here, which is also extremely, Announce extremely it. bad. It's happening again. It's happening again. Right, the motivation course has been finished. Minus 24,000. Now minus 177. So, it's it's working. It's, it's dropping. I'm also hoping that these patients here who are dying are going to end up sort of picking up a little bit. Curing spree. There's another curing spree. Excellent news. Very most excellent news. I got... 13 in a row. If they die rather than don't get cured, that is actually really good news for us. And I've just had a failed treatment somewhere. Somewhere I've had a failed treatment. Now, unfortunately, i got five people queued up waiting to go through surgery. And surgery is the slowest one. So that is going to slow us down if I'm not able to get some money back. Which I'm not going to be able to. I've got another person who's died. There's several people who've died over here. And I got people who are angry and storming out. And I got 19 people. Yeah, we're in debt. I know that we're End in debt. Approaching. And we're really struggling. We are really struggling. I don't think we're going to get all of them this time. No, we didn't. We didn't get Rising Star or Best Research or Hospital of the Year. We did last year. We did all right with that last year. This year, not so much. There's another dead person. Pain Apple. We've got people in treatment over here, which is a good thing. And we've got people I in treatment Stockholm over here. I believe Stockholm Syndrome has begun to rear its ugly head. My respect for the package and its potential for danger has developed into a strange kind of affection. Living with it forever in a constant state of opening is becoming a very real, even pleasing possibility. Whatever is next can be our song. How about that? Okay, I'm not really sure about that. You got surgery. You are first in the queue for surgery, so it looks like all the other surgery patients have died. Which I suppose is kind of a good thing. Because it means that then you are actually going to be able to get there before you... No, you're not going to kilo. You're not going to make it. And we are back in trouble. Okay, that person has died. They haven't made it. I've got one person here on the chopping block. You in here. i got nobody waiting for surgery now. You've taken so long to go and do it. We've had another patient storm out. A patient has been cured. I'm minus 280,000. This is where it's going to start to get difficult. Refused to pay. That's not very helpful. They're cured, but they've refused to pay because of the high prices. This is, this is where we struggle a bit, is we've got these high prices and so nobody... Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later